one of the biggest lessons that we had to learn as we were building this online beef company was how we used dry ice. So the first thing we had to figure out was where in the world do we get enough dry ice to ship all across the country. After a lot of research, we found that there's a dry ice plant here in DFW. They um, always have a, a ton of dry ice, literally, and they can make more if we need it. We get our dry ice in 10 pound blocks. They're about a foot by a foot by maybe two inches thick. And that dry ice sublimates. So sometimes even by the time we get back here, we've already lost a little bit of our dry ice. But it was all part of our testing. We spent probably two or three months running different tests with different insulations and different conditions, trying to see what was really gonna provide the best product for our customers. And what we settled on was our triple insulated boxes that you guys have heard me talk about. Uh, and generally, we use about nine pounds of dry ice for a one day ship, somewhere around 16, 14 to 16 pounds of dry ice for a two day ship, and around 18 to 20 pounds of dry ice for a three day ship. If we go over three days, then we generally have to go uh, to about 22 pounds of dry ice, uh, but typically we average about 15 pounds of dry ice in each box. Uh, and what we realized is that it matters not only how much dry ice you put in there, but also where you put the dry ice. So we tried different combinations of the dry ice in the package with the beef, in butcher paper, next to the uh, thermal liner, outside of the thermal liner. We tried a ton of different combinations and what we settled on was that we put our dry ice in with the product at the bottom of the box and that just allows the dry ice to last the longest, stay the coldest, and really was the most efficient way that we could find to use our dry ice in our shipping. So every Monday we're picking up between 500 and, if it's a busy Monday, 2,000 pounds of dry ice, and we use that. And what's really cool for us is we learned that throughout the week when other customers come in for pickup orders, we're able to use those scraps and help them get their pickup orders back here in DFW to wherever they're going from. So hopefully this was cool to hear about our dry ice. I will post some more videos about our actual shipping process and we hope you guys like this video.